So we've seen that the Galilean transforms don't satisfy the postulates of special relativity. So if not the Galilean transforms, what should we use instead? So at the time that Einstein was starting to think about his theory of special relativity, Maxwell had recently proposed his theory of electromagnetism. So this was proposed in 1865. And this proposed that the electric force and the magnetic force were actually both aspects of the same electromagnetic force. One of the consequences of Maxwell's theory was that there was a constant speed of light, which was one of the postulates of Einstein's theory of special relativity. Now, at the time, Maxwell's theory wasn't widely accepted by everybody, and part of the reason was that it didn't work under the Galilean transforms. So some people had actually gone through and added extra terms into Maxwell's equations to make it hold under the Galilean transforms. Lorentz, on the other hand, took a slightly different view of things. He created a new set of transforms under which Maxwell's equations did hold. Now Einstein recognised that the Lorentz transforms satisfied the postulates of special relativity. So what exactly are these Lorentz transforms? Let's once again consider our two reference frames, our reference frame S and our reference frame S prime, with S prime moving with a speed u along the positive x-axis of the reference frame S. Now, to transform our quantities from one reference frame to another with the Lorentz transforms, we need to use the equations x prime is equal to x minus ut over the square root of 1 minus u squared on c squared. Now, this is quite long to write, so sometimes to save time, we'll use gamma in place of 1 divided by the square root of 1 minus u squared on c squared. So this transform can be written as x prime is equal to gamma times x minus ut. Now once again, there's no relative movement in the y direction or the z direction. So there is no change when we transform in these directions. So y prime is equal to y, z prime is equal to z. The surprising outcome is that time is not the same in the two reference frames. So the time transform can be written as t prime is equal to t minus ux on c squared divided by the square root of 1 minus u squared on c squared, which if we want to use gamma, we can write as this is equal to gamma times t minus ux on c squared. So now that we've seen the Lorentz transforms, let's show that they do predict a constant speed of light. So the question is, consider a light wave travelling in frame S with a speed C along the x-axis. What is its speed in S prime according to the Lorentz transforms? So to do this, we can say, well, in S, the velocity is equal to C and the velocity is just equal to x over t. That's what velocity is, the change in displacement divided by the change in time. So in S prime, the, we've got a similar expression. We've got, well, V prime is going to be equal to X prime over T prime. Now the Lorentz transforms tell us that X prime is equal to X minus UT over the square root of 1 minus U squared on C squared and t prime is equal to t minus ux on c squared over the square root of 1 minus u squared on c squared. So what we can do now is substitute these into this equation and we get x minus ut over the square root of 1 minus u squared on c squared divided by t minus ux on c squared over the square root of 1 minus u squared on c squared. Now we can cancel out the common denominator on the top and the bottom here. So we've got this one and this one. And then we can write this as equal to x minus ut over t minus ux on c squared. What I'm going to do at this point is divide the top and the bottom through by t. So I can write this as x over t minus 
ut divided by t, which is just u, over t divided by t, which is 1, minus ux on t over c squared. Now, why I have actually done that is that now I can replace this x over t here and here with my expression from up here that x over t was equal to c. So this becomes c minus u over 1 minus c on uc on c squared. One of these c's will cancel and I have c minus u over 1 minus u on c. Now what I'll do is I'll times by c over c because that's all fine. I'm timesing by 1, doesn't change it. So this is equal to c, c minus u. Now here I've got c and this is minus u. So now I can cancel out c minus u on the bottom with c minus u on the top and I end up with c. And so that's shown that the speed of light in frame s prime, v prime, is still equal to c, which is the postulate of Einstein's theory of special relativity.